that bit, everybody. Let's get into it. Right, so let's bring up a G9 character, and what we're going to do is we're going to export it. Right, so you say file, export, and we're going to put it here. We're going to save it as an OBJ or FBX. It, it doesn't matter. OBJ, FBX, let's just save it as an FBX and just call it uh, Ari. All right, Ari. Right, so I'm just going to leave all of this as normal, and I'm going to say accept, uh, and we're good to go. Right, Ari's been exported. All right, get. Once you've done that, then let's go to Unreal Engine. Okay, once you're in Unreal Engine, just go ahead and make a folder somewhere. You know, I've made a little level just to show you, and we're going to bring in the meta humans. Okay. Right, and all I'm going to do here, love, is I'm going to take Ari, the FBX, I'm going to drag it into here and drop it. Over here, you get some import settings. All right, import animations. We don't need animations. Uh, Scalable, import type, skeleton, none. I'm just going to leave it as none and just say import all, okay? And let it import Ari. Once you're done, you're going to get a couple of things here. Don't worry about it. Just leave it, Ari. Leave it. You can just say no to that. And bam, we have our met at human love. That's great. That's great. Now, what do we need? What do we need to do here? First, we need to load uh plugins and let's just look for meta human uh you need to install them we've gone over this a million times let's just click on the meta human say yes yeah yes so we've got meta humans all done whatever and we're going to restart all right i'll come back when it's done it's going to ask you to save a million things save selected and we'll get back when it's done all right once you're back loves everything's loaded you can just close everything off load up your level again where is the bloody level okay once we're back here we're in our folder you can just right click go to metahuman animator and go get a metahuman identity okay click on that click on that love it's beautiful and now you get this now we're gonna just call this uh uh we're gonna call it metahuman identity i mean what we can do is just call it like metahuman identity and then call it Ari all right Ari open up Ari open it right up and then what you're going to do is you need to log into your metahuman you need to you need to log into it okay once you've done that just go to create from mesh and go pick your Ari your FPX that you got all right just pick it just pick it love it's all right it's all good chill out the process is very similar like uh like like the last version so over here it's always good to have good eyes i set the field of view to about 20 it always gives me a better result like a more accurate result so set your view to 20 then uh i can promote the frame and it all works fine right all works fine front view all good whatever you know obey it works but let's do this properly. Let's get an accurate one. And so let's go find our model. Okay. This is our FBX that we imported. You can see the eyes, the eyes, that bloody eye cover. So all we're going to do is we're going to go into its uh, materials, select those white ones, those like the covering of the eyes. And we're just going to add a quick node. You can hold down one on the keyboard and press it. And this will give you like a constant. And you can just plug it into opacity. You can see opacity is grayed out. That's fine. It's fine, love. Just, it doesn't matter. Okay, don't put on one, put on zero. But you can change it. Click on the main node and change that to translucent. And you're good to go. Okay, and then obviously change the constant to zero. You want zero opacity on the thing. Uh, not one. Not one. All right. So you can see nothing's working here because I, did, I, put, uh, I, I changed it to one. Shouldn't have. I am converting into a parameter, all this kind of... I don't need to, love. I don't, giving it a name. Why? Why, love? Just change the opacity to zero, okay? And you're good to go. So there, I'm getting more confused than anything. My mind's getting baffled. 
and then just put on zero and you're good to go. Okay, and you're gonna do the same with the other eye. Okay, so that one's working. Now you wanna do the same with the other eye. Just hit one, hold down one, click down, bam, make a constant, plug it in, into opacity, change the material, highlight it to translucent, and you're good to go. Okay, now we got both eyes. Okay, look at it, it's beautiful. Um, then what we can do is we can go open up our MetaHuman Identity again and it's working better, right? So now we can promote the frame. Bam, frame one, promote it. Oh, something's not looking great. Look, I'm just clicking away. Okay, now if you look down there to frame zero, frame one, frame three, you can see that it's not right. Okay, right here. Delete them. Just delete them. Every time you promote the frame, you making a new one start from scratch love there we go nothing there delete them promote the frame and you'll get your frame working okay boom so now we can track the markers bam perfect now you can just go in sequence mesh human idea uh, uh, all right uh. now click on the mesh to meta human i'm going to make the whole meta human go over a cup of tea love okay once it's ready it'll tell you and you're fine pick a body for it I'm gonna go ahead and just pick like this dude and you are ready to go now the teeth I didn't bother with there we go I just click the body before you mesh to metahuman and once that's done it'll take a while you can have a cup of tea all right fit teeth I'm not gonna do that now it's grayed out you have to add the teeth and I noticed it produced a perfect human you use teeth when you're not doing a full metahuman okay if you're doing a full metahuman, you don't need to do the teeth. You can do it all here. Once you've done that and you've generated to uh, metahuman, you can go in here and start playing with things, right? See, so as the skin, I'm just going to add a quick skin texture to it. And this whole part, I'll, I'll, I'll speed up because we've done this a million times. So now, just sit back, enjoy the music. Beautiful. Anyway, make your metahuman. Make him beautiful. Make him the way you want. And that's it. We've got him. Now we're back into Unreal Engine, right? So now you're going to go into the Quixel Bridge. You're going to log into your Quixel Bridge and you'll get your metahuman. Okay? Metahuman presets. Make sure you've logged in, or it's not going to work. And then just go to my metahumans, download the metahuman. I take the highest quality. You can take what you want. And just to show you here, this is the model from Daz. This is its rendered. And what we're going to see now, love, is, okay, just add it. And you can see it. I mean, it's pretty damn accurate. It's pretty damn good. Obviously, the metahuman looks better, right? And once you're in your... You've downloaded it, you can just drag it in, and we're good to go. And there we go. That's your meta human. And that's how easy it is. Boom. Let's speed this up, make a nice image, and we're good to go. So once you got it in, you can just beautify it the way you want. Now remember, to make it actor ready, you do need to press that last button on the identity, uh, which is shown here. Prepare for performance. Don't forget to do that before you go into MetaHuman Online and bring it in. Make sure that you press this to get it ready for performance so you can use MetaHuman Animator, okay? Otherwise, that's it. You know, sometimes you get issues with the eyelashes. Just click on the eyelash and click shadows off and on again, and it'll fix that problem. Otherwise, that's it. This is, uh, this is the image. This is the... the the human I got from Daz. I hope this helps. This is how to import a Gen 9 or any model, really, into 5.4 and how to use it. All right. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Look at my Scottish. Eye. Ari, Margaret, not that one. Okay. On the top shelf, Margaret. Look for it. Not that one. I've told you a million times, Margaret. What else do I have to do? I hope you have a great weekend. And thanks for joining me. I hope this helps. Bye, guys.